All about Symbian and Mobile Industry Review. Well, Symbian 3 is a huge milestone for us. Um, as you may know, we've done uh, a lot of work to integrate what was uh, the Symbian core operating system and platform with the S60 user interface and applications that have been built uh, from Nokia. And we've also incorporated contributions from many other companies uh, out there, both device manufacturers, service providers, but also uh, network operators. And the Symbian 3 release is uh, the first general availability of that integrated code line um, since we formed the foundation. So it's, it's a really exciting time for us in that way. Um, I can also highlight a few of the features that are in Symbian 3 because it is such a key milestone for us. Uh, and you know, some of them include, of course, uh, this nice microkernel um, that uh, you know, can run on very low computational load application processors, meaning that you can extend battery life Uh, for extensive periods of time uh, with active use, meaning that you can multitask uh, actively in, in uh, an operating system and on your mobile. Um, more than that, there is a hardware abstraction layer. Some of the first bits or elements of a hardware abstraction layer in there, which will provide us a much larger range of technologies by which people can create uh, mobile products and run the operating system and platform. The Qt Core library is in there for the first time. So this will be a key milestone on the way to Symbian 4 and 5 and, uh, and other releases because it will enable us to go in and leverage Qt to rewrite the applications. It will enable developers to do some incredible things uh, with the platform. Well, I, I can go on, but uh, again, it's, it's a very feature-rich release for us and uh, something that we believe the, the community will just really continue to rally behind. Well, we're making it uh, a lot easier to navigate around the system or to use your device or product. So what we've done as an example is a lot of work, our, our member companies have done this, this work to reduce the number of inputs um, that you have to do for basic tasks or common tasks. So it'll be much easier to send a mail, much easier to go online, much easier to stay uh, connected with, with multiple applications and so forth with very few inputs into the system. There's also some elegance in there. Uh, some nice visual design features, uh, transparencies and, and uh, transition effects um, that are good. And, you know, things like navigating images and listening to music and, and so on um, all have minor improvements in them, uh, just really to enhance the overall experience people have with the Symbian products. Well, I, I will say with complete bias that it doesn't measure up. It uh, surpasses in so many ways. Uh, what else is available out there. Um, you know, these, these grassroots efforts like, uh, like the Android effort um, are, are interesting. Uh, we'll see over time if they can develop uh, the type of feature set and mature the code line uh, in the same way that, uh, that Symbian has been matured over the years. Um, and then when you compare it to things like iPhone, um, you know, again, the visual design cues, the uh, ability to navigate the broad application support that's integrated without requiring you to go buy a bunch of applications just to use your mobile. Uh, these things, again, I, I think uh, really help us stand above the competition out there. Stay tuned for more at All About Symbian at Mobile Industry Review.